Hi everyone, and welcome to Multiplayer Farming Simulator. We're back on the server today, and it's, as usual, very busy. It's full, uh, but we're working in this field today, and I think I'm going to use the pickup on the chrome. We have two chromes, so we may as well use them both. I'm in this one, and I believe someone else has gone to go and fetch the other one. And I'm assuming that someone will come alongside at some stage with a tractor and trailer, uh, so we can throw it into there. I'm sure they will, because I tend to get quite a lot of people following me when they know I'm recording, which is quite interesting. So I'm down here at the store picking up the Easy Flow pickup header. Uh, I need to drop this one off. Should have been taken back to the yard really, but I wasn't going there en route. So we'll just drop it off here. Here is our pickup. So, I'm going to head up to that field. We'll begin work, and hopefully, it'll be teamwork as it was in the previous episode. It did go very well last time, and uh, I, I think it was brilliant. Hopefully, it'll run just as smoothly today, because if it doesn't run smoothly, it can be mayhem. So it really does just depend on everyone else on the server. If everyone wants to be realistic, then it makes it more enjoyable anyway. So hopefully um, it does go really well. But I'm sure when they see me in the field and I put the pipe out, uh, they should, someone should come alongside, I hope. There's plenty of trailers over there, so maybe I should head over in that general direction. With two crones going, this is not going to take long. So we're going to have to find another job at some stage. There you go, look, welcome seen me. Right, I think we have some, I think we have him alongside. So we'll get this thing started. That's that unfolded. Lower it down. Get it turned on. It's got some speed to it, is this? Oh, look at that. Bit of lag there. That's my problem though, not the server. Right, look at the rate it's filling it. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I need to go around the other side. Not easy. Another field over there being cut. But that probably won't be ready in this episode. And the road is a bit of a mess actually. There's a fair bit of hay on there. That needs to be sorted out. You have to get the windrow out at some stage and clear all that up. Or we could use the pickup. Forage wagon. Yeah, I'm sort of sandwiching him in there. There isn't a great deal of space. That can't be far off being full. Being really full. Yep. Oh, not quite. Not taking it yet. Trailer. 
sense of it. I would have thought that before now. It looks pretty full. So much messiness in this map. Tractors dumped everywhere. Unbelievable. I think we need to actually reset a lot of the vehicles to their respawn point because people just prefer to leave stuff lying around rather than taking it back to where they got it from, which destroys the enjoyment, really, because like then, you just can't get on. Oh yeah, and if you haven't looked at the top right hand corner of the screen, that money has uh, built up over the last few days. We're now on 19 million pounds. And that is from people continually playing on the server. Incredible. We should really be playing on hard. I think I actually want a different trailer. That trailer should follow that one. I need a different trailer. Can't keep going alongside. Um. Hmm. What is going on here? Most of the money is actually from selling silage. That is what has been the most popular thing on this map. And uh, there has been a time when nearly all of the silage pits have been full. And when uh, it's all sold, we have three loaders down there, the big shovel ones. And uh, when those three are all working together, the money just literally skyrockets. It's incredible. There is so much money in the silage. Just just unbelievable. It's uh, so much more profitable, it seems, than the cereals or the potatoes or sugar beet. almost done here. Two machines going really does the job and uh, I do like it because we only have two tractor drivers this time. Before there was about six or seven maybe 
tractors and trailers waiting to be filled when realistically you only need two uh, so uh, it has been a lot better this time around and it also is better because if you look on here you can see everyone is more sparse on the map and sparsely spread which means that they're actually getting on with their own job which is a lot more productive than following me about has to be said With the exception of these bits over here, is the field completed? So uh, I'm assuming uh, we're going to eventually move on to another field, which needs to be done. So uh, I think, unless they have got another field planned, that is the the easy flow header used now. I don't think there's going to be any more jobs for that for today. Uh, so I think I'm only going to take it back to the yard and uh, find a different machine to drive. Probably do a bit of corn carting. We'll just see what everyone else is doing. going through the tree line driveway. I've planted trees either side of the road. Now this tree lying in the middle of the road is weird. That um, has been cut down in the night but no one has access to any forestry machinery or a chainsaw. So I'm assuming that is a glitch because no one could have cut it down unless there's some kind of cheat which I don't think there is. So uh, I'm not sure what that's about. Still I'll put this away I can uh, actually reverse in. Good. So I think that easy flow header is actually quite useful. I haven't really used it before, so it's nice to use that for once. Here are the silage pits, and actually three of them need to be emptied. So I could do a little bit of that. I will just do a tiny bit, not too much because it's not really multiplayer because no one else is down here. Just sell a few bucket loads. There should be three of these loads, yes there are. Two there and uh, this one. When three people are down here getting the job done, this uh, anaerobic digester here can't actually manage it it has to be uh, on a really fast speed for it, to, for it to be able to process it quickly but uh, I think these are the only loaders that we can really do it with because if you're dealing with like a front loader on a tractor it takes a long time to sell it and if you you obviously can't use cosplay because we haven't got it installed uh, if you're doing it all yourself it can get a bit tedious so I think the big buckets are the best thing for the job here especially three of them not that we need the money though it's just going to have to empty the silage pits with more coming in Take one from this one here. I don't know why you, why people fill up all of them and then blanket them over when they're not full. If if one was done and then you blanket that one over and then you start another one, there'd always be some space available. But for some reason, they're blanketed over before they're even full. So it makes it a little harder. But you can't really control what people do in the night. I'm actually amazed at how the server is performing because I haven't been on for probably, what would it be, 36 hours probably um, and I was expecting to join the server and have to reset 
everything because it would all be in the river. And surprisingly, there were four things in the river. Everything else was fine. So really, it's getting on okay on its own. Which is nice because you'd expect people to just come and wreck it. But really, there's obviously been someone, but overall, it's been getting on fine on its own. Yeah, not really much machinery for me. Arr, I've been let loose on my combine. Wait, that was a pirate's accent. Hmm. Need to work on that one. Well, there is someone already in this field harvesting, but I think I'll join them. Come on, out of the way. Uh, I'm not sure if it's being done on baling swath. I don't think it is, so I think we'll chop it. Um, I will just get this thing going. We have a number of combines now. There is the large New Holland combine. I forget the number. Uh, we have this case axle flow 7130. And we have two small New Holland combines as well. Uh, JM Spiker wants me to do a shout out to JM Contracts. So uh, there you go. Can't really do a great deal. But yep, JM Contracts. Synchronising data. Why are you going alongside me? I have 23% in my tank. That was like a, a subtle hint to tell him to stop following me, but clearly not. Ah, yes. Well done, Life Lord uh, picked up on it. Uh, I don't know if we're taking the headlands off, it doesn't look like we are, but I will just take one off. Gotta turn around before that combine arrives. I don't even know who's driving actually. I have to wait until it gets closer. Ah. Chucks or come on, gotta get turned round. No, not gonna do it. I'll let him go. I think it's going okay. Um, episode 1 was the worst, I would say, because that was just mayhem and I was really just introducing everything. Uh, episode 2 was fantastic. The teamwork was incredible. Uh, episode 3, that's this one, um, is okay, definitely. At least everyone's helping. But I wouldn't say it was going as smoothly as episode 2 did. But really, it just comes down to who's on the server at the time certainly not the worst lot of people. There's some good players on here. This combine's tank capacity is massive. get the first load out of there because it won't make it back up again if I don't empty now. The good thing about this combine is it empties really quickly. A really small New Holland combine has a very slow unloading uh, speed 
this one is really quick I think between us this field is going to be finished in the next couple of minutes he's not going to quite get it in there that is annoying I was wrong he is actually getting in it's the perfect fit exactly right for his header it's starting to go a bit dusk now so I think we're going to be speeding up time very soon so we can skip the night time plenty more fields to drill and plenty more to harvest actually but until episode 4 I think this is virtually it just empty it There we go. So job done. I'll we'll fold it up. And that'll be it for today. So uh, yep, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode on multiplayer. I didn't really know what I was going to be doing because I just joined and uh, everyone wanted me to do a video, so I did do. But yep, I'll see you next time on Channington Farm tomorrow and hopefully very soon back on multiplayer beyond home. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.